What's up guys? <clears throat> Wanted to give you my two year review of my Yokao boxing gloves and also the shin guards. So two years ago I made an initial review of this of these gloves. Um, shortly after I purchased the shin the matching shin guards. And I just wanted to uh, give you an update on how these gloves have been doing. Um, I've been training the past uh, two years consistently, uh, almost exclusively with these gloves. So I've uh, been going a few times a week, maybe three at the most. Uh, use these gloves for bags, bag work, pad work, and also sparring. And I have to say that these gloves are excellent. Um, don't know yet if I'm going to um, get some new gear. Um, don't know how the recommended usage length of time um, <clears throat> this type of equipment should be used for based on you know the durability of the foam inside. But overall, um, I think these have been holding up quite well. There's just a few scuffs here and there. Um, <clears throat> the print has been holding up quite well. There's a little bit of uh, chipping off of the, the logos, but I'm pretty, I take care of my stuff pretty well. So it's barely anything that's noticeable. There's a little bit of the logo there is kind of going. Um, <clears throat> certain areas there's scuffing and there's like the paint is kind of coming off a little bit in certain areas like the palm area here but um you know i wipe these down they don't smell that bad at all after two years i like to really just <clears throat> clean these th uh, thoroughly and allow them to air dry so they don't really smell or anything like that uh, the wrist wrist support is really good you know you along with the hand wraps um the foam you know it's still still a lot there I don't really feel any deformity in the foam um, still a lot of structure left in the glove even though they're broken in um, but yeah these gloves are great they're holding up quite well I wanted to try other brands but don't want to spend too much money on on gear so you know normal wear and tear a little bit of staining on the label here uh, the inside of the glove is uh, intact. There's no tearing or anything of that manner. Uh, just make sure you know you you clean your gear after every use. Allow them to fully air dry. We'll take a quick look at the uh, shin guards here. Shin guards look pretty good. I, I bought them uh, shortly after. A little bit of scuffing here and there. Um, <clears throat> I'm five nine, so. I bought a size medium on the Yokal uh, sizing. We got inside is kind of a padded canvas. Uh, we got an ankle ankle strap and a foot strap, Velcro straps back here. Really like the shin guards as well. Uh, I think if you're gonna get kind of kickboxing or Muay Thai sparring gear, always get stuff that's made in Thailand because you know, the Thais really pride themselves uh, in making this equipment. Muay Thai is their national sport. So of course you're gonna get the best quality when it comes to uh, material or gear that's, that's made from Thailand. Anyways, that's uh, my review, my two year review of the Yokao uh, boxing mitts. I hope you guys enjoy, please give it a like. And subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.